Hello, and welcome back to Mechanica. So, I've been gone for a bit, and I figure that now is a good time to go back to some of the games we've played previously on the channel that have had major updates. So, Mechanica happens to be one of them, and my uploads are going to be a little irregular for a bit, you know, before I, you know, kind of get back into the whole swing of things. So, I figure, you know... Let's just go ahead and take a look, see what's going on here. I'm going to label this as Season 2, because I don't know how many episodes I'm going to get out of this uh, thing, but I want to definitively separate it from our first batch in this game. So, yeah, you can load up the old games, but they don't have the new features, is what I was reading. So, basically, the reason I decided to do this one is because this is definitely one of the ones that said, no, you have to start a new game if you want the new stuff. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, we got normal, easy, hard, creative. Well, let's just go stick with normal for the moment. Barren wasteland littered with various vestiges of civilization. No signs of conscious life or plenty of natural resources. Three ominous white factories, which can be found throughout the map. The word Odyssey illuminated on the top of each. This is the map that we had before. Is there another map? Or is this just done with the... Okay, ooh, advanced settings. A quick peek at that. This was I don't think this was a thing before. Or if it was, I breezed past it so far. Right, let's just leave that alone. We'll leave it on normal. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and play. So this was relatively fun for me, I remember. Outside of the incessant waves of robots, I seem to recall having had a plan to wall in the robot spawn points. I don't know how that was going to work out, though. I don't think I quite finished it. I think I got, like, three-quarters of the way done on one of them. And I don't recall how that was working. It was long enough ago that I don't really remember things. Ooh, booting system. Here we go. Ooh, prime directive. Survive and expand. This is all new, because when I started the last game, you were still human. Oh, we don't even have our little area anymore. Welcome to Mechanica. Press backspace at any time to ooh, use Wasid and mouse to look around. Yep, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, tree, left mouse button to punch it. Tree. Okay, I have to click. I can't just hold it down. No, I can't. Gather at least four wood and three sticks. Stick, stick, stick. Whole bunch of wood. Way more than what it needs. I'm gonna grab everything though, because why not? Press tab to open your inventory. Press crafting to open the crafting menu. Some of this I remember, some of this is new. Uh, it gave us a tool before. So tools tab. Second from the left. Click the campfire. Click on the inventory to return to your inventory. Alright, so we need to. Oh, inventory. In, 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 inventory. Here we go. Click and drag, or shift click, on the campfire. Alright. Equip the campfire. Uh, use the left mouse button to place the campfire down. Temporary method of smelting ores until you can build a furnace. Boop. Nearby iron ore source and punch it until it drops some iron ore. Is this iron ore? That is copper ore. Bluish gray. Yeah, see, it, it used to give us, like, a little... Oh, it was that little facility back there is where it started us before. Okay, I see where we are. It's still the same map for the most part, which means that, barring anything else, there should be some iron over here. Doo -doo. So you can just punch the ore, huh? Yeah, it was that little building there, and I wonder what's in that building. Alright, so I'm gonna have to just do this. Press iron ore, or resources. Alright, return to your campfire, press E to light it, and then G with the iron ore, equip to throw it in the fire. Alright, I'm gonna grab a few of those. Do to do. Yeah, it started us out with a basic, like, tool before. 
Now, obviously, they've got it set up where you need to just punch trees all Minecraft style. Get it going. <coughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. My power is slowly going down, boys. Alright, light the campfire. Equip that and hit G. Wait for it to smelt. Got it. We'll wait for this one. Here we go. How do I turn you off? How do I turn you off? Crafting menu again, tools tab. There we go, I got it. Uh, crafting tools pickaxe. Bam. Continue gathering resources, craft and build more objects. Remember to keep your coolant and power levels up by coolant shots and etc. etc. Uh, coolant and power, power shots. Steel and lithium. Steel and water. Also want to be cautious of less than friendly robots. Alright. Let's make the baseball bat so that we can do that. Alright, let's go ahead and start equipping some of this stuff. So we're going to want our baseball bat in one. We'll put our thing there in two. Um, we're going to want to get better smelting, I think, pretty much immediately. Which is going to require some power stuff. Um, ooh. Locked. Research. There's research now? How do I do research? Storage. Electronics. Power. Power node. So there's those generators. Machines. Item. Coal. Most housing stuff. Barbed wire fence. Barricades. Crates. Decoration. Defense. Oh, here we go. Research. Blue science. At a research station. How do I build a research station? Alright, well this thing is not... I can't seem to shut it off, so I guess it's just going to be a thing. Uh, let's head over to our old friend, the gas station here. Because that's where we set up shop last time. And it seems to me like it's a good idea to go ahead and set up shop there again, since I know the resources that are relatively nearby it. We, of course, have... Come on, i got to work out the timing on this again. There we go. And they give us a little bit of resources as well, so that's good. Alright, oh... None of the stuff that was in here before is in here. None of the crates, none of the machines. Alright, there's not even any of the doors. I wonder if I can put doors up on this. Interesting. Alright, let's grab ourselves a little bit of coal, which I think is a new resource. Alright, now the advantage here is, is I can just hold down the pickaxe. I don't have to... I don't have to uh, sit there and, you know, do each click. So that's a definitive advantage. And of course we're going to want to get back to doing this automated. But we're going to need a few resources in hand to do that. And apparently we may need to do some research. So how do I do research? I still didn't see a research station. Is there... Let's, we're going to take a look again here real quick, just to see. Uh, oh, that's the re it's right there. Right in front of me. Steel ingots, screws, steel rods, copper wires, glass, and screen. And build many of these to speed up research. Okay. Well, that's obviously going to have to be our first goal. I don't know if it's going to require power or not. My guess is it's probably going to. But... It at least gives us a goal to work towards. All right, so. Um, hmm, although there is also the better smeltery, right? Coal power furnace. Might want to start there. Circuit board. These are parts. Screws. 
Circuit boards require wires and screws. All right. All right. So we're probably going to want to make... All right, you don't do that. I think that's all the sticks I need. Oh, and it's getting... I think it's kind of starting to get dark. I don't know. Alright, we're going to set up out here by the gas pumps. Because I kind of used this flat area before. I kind of extended it out this way a bit, too. What is this? Nothing. I seem to recall... Yeah, so this is a water area. We're going to need that. What's with this plant fibers? Are these a thing I'm going to be able to use? I don't remember. I don't recall these being a thing before. But if they're in the game now, we're probably going to need... There's some lithium. We're going to need some of that. I sure hope that the uh, ores respawn the way they used to. I don't know if that was a, intended as a temporary fix, or if that was like, no, this is how the game is going to be. Alright, let's get some copper. Where's copper? Copper was over here. Yeah. It's all coming back to me now. That was another reason to use this gas station as the base, is all the resources except oil are really nearby, and oil isn't all that far, so... It's a good spot for a starter base. Let's go ahead and get these guys into the hot bar. Let's make another campfire, get it into the hot bar. All right. Do, do, do. We're just going to put that down there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to smelt up some of this stuff. If it will decide to that. somewhere. There we go. Oh, there's one. Alright. Let's get the lithium on. That seems to be slotting in there a little bit easier. And then we're just left with the copper. Which, of course, wants to roll around. Uh, let's go ahead and put whatever that we can. Do. Do, do, do. Oh, hello. You got hello, copper bars. Do, 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 do. Oh, get back here, you. Oh, all right, and a few more. Probably not enough, but I also didn't want to take too awful much time. We're already at like 15 minutes of video. Look at this, we barely started and we're almost out of time already. How is this? Alright, so we definitely want to start with the... Hmm. Now the question becomes... Produced only in chemical crafter. Oh. No, it was a coal. We have coal ones. So, all right. Let's see. That's programming stuff. Storage, electronics, lights. Here we go. Machines. All right. So, oh, I'm going to definitely need more steel. Let's go get some more iron real quick. Thing is, I only have enough steel bars to cover just the steel bar requirement. Do, do, do. Gonna sit here and smash E and hopefully be picking this stuff up as it appears, like that. 
all, uh, well, I'd say all, uh, oh, actually, can I just hold it down? We'll see. Oh, yeah, it seems to be working. All right, so we can kind of do this Space Engineer style. I mean, it's F on that one, but you just kind of hold the button down and it picks up at least the vast majority of what it's grabbing. All right. Let's pop back over there. Let's go ahead and grab the 11 of these I've got. What is that? Oh, no. Oh. It's airdropping them. Okay, so I guess my original plan of wall off the facilities definitely won't work since, uh, airdrops. Now let's go take care of these guys. Unfortunately, that's probably going to burn out my fire. But this will give us a little bit more resources and possibly some of the advanced ones. There are four of these. Ow. I wonder if they've added any, like, personal ranged weaponry. Because that was always the problem before, was there was no personal ranged weaponry. You had turrets, but you couldn't... You just basically had to let the turrets do their thing. Ow. You couldn't just go and shoot these things. Come on. Ow. There we go. All right pick up all these parts. This handful of parts, I guess. The bodies might be on top of some of it, but they'll despawn and the resources will stay. At least if it's still working like it was before, so... Alright, alright, it didn't burn out the entirety of our fire. This is really, really annoying. Gotta be said. I hear more. Oh, what are you? Oh, wait, I've seen you guys before. Get back here, you. Stupid little thing. There we go. That, however, gives me the resource necessary for the buddy bots which will be useful once we're a little bit more advanced. Getting a, at least, a, like, three or four of those going is going to be important. Get up some of those, get those back up. All right, now, see, the main problem here is not doing this stuff. It is doing this stuff while having to deal with the stupid attack robots. Not too much life left in that fire. But we'll also be able to take a look, see if we've got any of the uh, additional resources we need from all of those dudes. All right, that fire, I'm going to write that off for the moment. Let's pop back over here, see... Aha! No. Okay, there wasn't anything we missed. Hmm. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> so we have a few of these things. What is it we need? We need two screws, a circuit board, and a small screen. So let's see. Oh, I don't think we got the stuff for that screen. Smelting sand. How do I get sand? Do I just come like... How do I get sand? Is there a shovel? There is a shovel. Let's get you, get you out of there. Get you, get you down here. Shovel. Gonna do that from the sand. Let's see if we can get it on the fire soon enough to get it done. There's not much life left in this fire. But with luck. There we go. Alright. I think I got everything out of that. Alright. Do 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 do. Alright, so screen circuit board screws. 
Where's the screens? Oh, the screens are like here, aren't they? Yeah, small screen. Circuit board, we need screws for the circuit board. And then we need some screws. And that makes us a coal-powered furnace. Excellent. There's also a coal-powered auto miner. Hey, the fire just dis flat out disappeared, I guess. Oh, there was a little bit more. I thought there was glass needed for the small screens for some reason. That's why I rushed that. Oh, well. All right, so we should have ourselves coal-powered furnace now. Excellent. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Um, I think steel is the thing we're gonna need the most of. Although the coal itself... Well, no, that doesn't have to be refined that way, though. Alright, let's come over here to the iron. And I'm gonna put this down right there. Alright. So... Uh, caps lock to enable programming mode. How do I load you with coal? How? No? Not like that? Ooh, here we go. E to open object inventory. Coal. Excellent. And then on off button, and it shows me how much coal is in the... Alright, I was just looking at the wrong side, basically. Alright, so now... We should be able to do this thing where we just, you know, sit here, do this, hold down E. And we should basically get a bunch of iron ore this way. Be able to throw it into the smelter thing. And then we can start focus on making some auto miners. Which we should probably start with the coal one first. We're going to need a box, too. I saw there were some of those. Let's, uh... A quick look at storage. So we got storage box and a basket. Poor man storage box. Two screws for steel ingots. I've got that. I've got that, right? Yeah. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, put that down. Because that way... Should... I thought you used to snap too. Guess not anymore. All right. So, I think if I do this... Oh, okay, I need to have you in my inventory. Do this. And then we turn you on. Smelting iron ore. There it goes. Now we don't have to mess with the stupid campfire anymore. Because we can... You, it, until we automate it, we can just use this one as needed. Now, is this using one per? No. It looks like it is using some incredibly small amount per. Maybe we get five or six out of this? Kinda wanting to see, but I also don't remember how many I put in. Do, do, do. We still got more. Looks like maybe eight. Maybe maybe ten. Hmm. So how many do we have? We have nine. Yeah, I'm guessing maybe it's ten. That we're going to be able to get out of a single piece of coal. Alright, that's a pretty good rate. Um, until such a time as we get access to some sort of electric one where we don't have to refill it. That's going to be pretty good. Alright, let's take a look and see what else we can be focusing on. Now, I would like an auto miner in place. If all we need to do is have coal, I don't necessarily feel the need to... Yeah, look at all of this stuff. Electric... Electric auto digger, electric furnace. Yeah, see, we're going to want that stuff eventually, so we don't have to worry about the coal. Or, at the very least, we can just put coal in one location and have everything run. Uh, but right now, auto miner. So again, we need a small screen, circuit board, screws, steel ingot. Alright, that's basically the same recipe, it's just we don't have enough steel at the moment. Let's get the other parts. Uh, you need... 
one of you, one of you, so I can make you. I need two of you. I need, I think it was one of these for the screen. And then we need a little bit more steel. We need three more pieces of steel. Excellent. All right. Oops, I don't have... That's... I, I, I remember being annoyed by this in the game before. Well, on the plus side, we don't seem to be getting as many robots as often anymore. Probably related to the idea... Yeah, see, it spat one out and switched to another piece of coal. It's ten per. That's good. Um... We don't seem to be getting the robots as often or in the same quantity, so maybe it scales up or maybe they just dialed it back a bit. You know, that's, you know, totally a thing. All right, let's grab these. Let's go ahead and make our coal-powered auto miner. What's this item blocker? Oh, huh, okay. Interesting. Uh, you. Auto miner. Come here. think all right so we need some coal let's go grab some coal and i think that'll be a good milestone is getting our first bit of automation done it'll still be terribly inefficient i assume but Let's hope that this actually does have access to the iron ore it's sitting kind of on. Oh, Get in there. All right, here we go. Now, are you going to work in the same quantities here? Oh, I might be able to... Oh, I might be able to do that without having to open it up. That's neat. You're starting to back stuff. Let's let you back stuff a little bit before I turn it on. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's see how these bars line up. Just kind of keeping an eye on them. Yeah, the smelting goes faster than the mining. So letting it back stuff a little bit is going to be a little more efficient. Good, good. So we're going to go ahead and shut this off after this piece. There we go. And just kind of let this build up a little bit. It'll probably hold 50, I assume. It seems to be where the stack size is on all this. And I think as the sun is starting to come up, as the sky is lightening, this is going to be a good wrapping up point. All right, so we're looking. They've definitely changed quite a bit of stuff. All of this stuff used to insist on running on fuel before, or at least this did. This required electricity. They've expanded all that. Apparently, the programming stuff has all changed, which we'll get into once we're advanced enough. I think we've got a fair few episodes of this series uh, you know, going forward. I think... I think we can do a whole new season on this. But that is going to do it for this episode. The first episode of Season 2. So, until next time, have a good one.